Hey guys, so we'll go ahead and get started. In today's class, we're going to be playing with two things. We're going to play with elephant trunks pose, and that's going to be the main concern of today's class. And we're also going, or main concern, main theme, main pose that we're going to be up, working up towards during today's class. But we're also going to play with hurdler's pose um, because we're going to open up our hips and our hamstrings a lot. So why not play with that arm balance as well because it involves a lot of hip and hamstring openness. And you'll see right here behind my giant water cup that I just spilt water all down myself while drinking. Um, I have two books because I instead of using blocks, I am going to use books because I don't have blocks at home. So if you want to grab two blocks, you're more than welcome to. We're going to be playing with half and full splits today in class to help us warm up for elephant trunk pose. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry, we'll explain it or I'll explain it um, as class goes on. It's a really fun arm balance that involves a lot of hips and hamstring openness, hence the reason why we're going to play with half and full, full splits. Um, but with all of that being said, this is an hour long flow, an hour long class, however you want to think about it. As with all of my classes, everything I'm going to offer today is merely a suggestion. It's something you can decide to do or not, depending on how your body is feeling and what your body and breath is asking you to do. So I encourage you to listen to your own inner teacher and just take rest as you need to dig deeper and try something new when you want to. But above all else, just listen to your body listen to your breath, and make this practice your own. I'm simply here as a guide. Um, yeah, that's about it. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started in a nice, comfortable, seated position. I'm gonna start in Baddha Konasana, reclined, bound angle, so that way I can already get some hip opening action going, so maybe you joint, reclined, bound angle. Not reclined, bound angle, just bound angle, cobbler's pose. My mind are, always goes to suit the Baddha Konasana, it's just Baddha Konasana, bound angle. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead. See, Come into a nice, comfortable seated position. Let's curl the crown of our head up towards the sky. Beginning to let our day go. Beginning to forget about our to-do lists and anything that may or may not have happened before you stepped onto your mat today. Forgetting about anything that may or may not happen after class. Just bringing your attention here onto your mat. Taking note of what feels good for the first time in a really long time taking note of what might need a little extra love on your mat and during this practice. Not doing any dedicated pranayama today to start off class, so just sit here and mindfully breathe. Inhale, inhaling and exhaling for that same count. breathing. Pranayama. And as you're ready, inhale, lift your hands all the way up towards the sky. As you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart center. Taking a second here to set an intention for your class. Maybe you think of a mantra, one word to help you move and flow. Or maybe you simply think about whatever brought you here onto your mat today. Keep that in mind throughout class. And then go ahead, inhale, swoop those hands up towards the sky. As you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart space, sealing in that intention, sealing in that mantra. Then go ahead, keeping your eyes closed, or maybe you open them. Make your way to a comfortable tabletop position. Elbows, wrists, shoulders, all stacking one on top of the other here. Knees stacking directly underneath your hips. And let's inhale, belly drops, gaze, lifts. And as you exhale, round your back. Inhale, belly drops, gaze, lifts. And as you exhale, round your back. You're gonna make your way back to a nice, neutral tabletop position and let's take this right leg right leg and just kick our right foot up towards the sky coming into a bent knee shape here good and hold here for a few breaths coming into and modifying your tabletop as you need it coming into a more comfortable variation let's take a breath as you exhale begin to take baby pulses up and down here driving this right heel up towards the sky 
I promise it's gonna make sense later on. We're gonna do this for five, four, three, two, one. Let's take this right leg, extend it all the way back behind you and begin to pulse again, keeping your right leg lifted here for six, because why not? Five, four, three, two, one. Rebend your right knee, but take your right knee out and over towards three o'clock this time, out towards a 90 degree. Let's take a breath as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your right elbow, and inhale, take it back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, take it back. Let's do five more of these modified crunches. We're going isolating this right glute and this right quad here. So that way it's going to be a little bit easier to come into our elephant trunk pose. Three, two, one left, bring that right knee in. And as you exhale, take that right knee all the way back up to the sky. And then take those baby pulses again. Right heel driving up towards the sky for 10. Increasing a little bit here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring that right knee down. Come out and inhale, lift up your left leg. Good, flex your left toes here. All 10, five of your left toes pointing to the back of your mat here. Driving that left heel up towards the sky. I'm going to take breath as you exhale, begin to pulse up and down for five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen out that left leg all the way to the back of your mat, and then hold for a breath, and then begin to pulse again, taking teeny tiny pulses here, focusing on that left glute for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend that left knee, bring it out towards nine o'clock, take a breath as you exhale, pull your left knee towards your left elbow, and inhale, take it back. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, take it back. Five more here. Going at your own pace so you can stick with me. Three left. Two left. One more left. Pull that left knee in and take it out. And then retake that left foot back up towards the sky, back to that left bent left knee. And then begin to take those pulses again. Going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Good job. Go ahead, bring that left knee down to the mat. Take a breath in as you exhale. Take your palms out of palms with distance forward on your mat. Tuck your toes, lift your knees down and facing dog. On move. And go ahead, bend one knee and the other here. Let's go ahead and rotate that towards the top of my mat. Maybe you sway your hips side to side. Or maybe you're just ready for stillness already and you settle there. Actively pressing your heels down to the mat, bottom going up towards that sky. Let's inhale all the way up on your tippy toes. And as you exhale, tiptoe all the way up to the top of your mat or bowl that we meet. Inhale halfway, left lengthen. Exhale down. And then inhale over swan dive. All your standing hands coming to touch. As you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart space. And then inhale, hands go high. As you exhale, swan dive forward. Starting with the classical sun sound here. Let's take an inhale halfway, left lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward, put your hands on the mat. Step your right leg all the way back behind you. Right knee comes down, and as you're ready, hands go high. Low classical lunge. So your left knee is stacking directly above your left ankle here. Left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward. Pinky swirling inwards to face each other. Hug your belly button up and in. For three, two, one. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands down, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, step back, high plank. Option for your knees, stay, stay higher, knees can go down. Let's lower down, go plank. Inhale, up, upward facing dog. As you exhale, push your hips up towards the sky. Adamukka, downward facing dog. And then inhale, right leg goes high. And as you exhale, pull your right knee towards your nose. Plant your right foot down the mat. Left knee's gonna follow. And inhale, hands go high. Low classical lunge here. Right hip pulling back. Left hip pulling forward. Let's hug that belly button up and in. Maybe you shift your gaze up towards the sky. And again, start with your right knee stacking above your right ankle before you begin to take a beat. For four, three, two, one. Exhale, bow forward, put your hands down, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse one dive, all the standing hands, and stretch. And as you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart space. Left side, here we come. Inhale, hands go high. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow forward, put your hands down, step your left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Left knee's gonna fall down. And inhale, hands go higher. On the right side here, maybe sink a little bit deeper into that right knee. Maybe you back off a little bit. Your choice. For three, two, one. Exhale, back forward, put your hands down, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step back, high plank, Vanessa. 
Meet me in downward facing dog. And then inhale, left leg goes high. As you exhale, pull the left knee towards your nose, plant left foot down the mat. Right knee's gonna follow. And inhale, hands go high. Low, classical lunge. Left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward. Soften into your joints here. Bring your shoulders, blades down your back and away from your ears for three, two, one. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, wrist one of all of your standing hands going to touch as you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart. And then inhale, hands go high. As you exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands on the mat, step your right leg all the way back behind you. Right knee's going to come down to the mat, and inhale, hands go high. Low classical lunge. Often to stay here, often to bring your hands to your lower back and release them. Press your knuckles down, lift your chest up towards the sky. Opening up your heart. Your hands are in yoga mudra. For three, two, one. Exhale, bow forward, plant your hands down, touch your right toes, lift your right knee, step back, high plank, vanasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. And then inhale, right leg goes high as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose, plant your right foot down the mat, left knee's gonna follow. And inhale, hands go high. Hands can stay high, hands can come down to your lower back and you can interlace them, or maybe you take some nice big cactus arms here, broadening out your collarbones, opening up your shoulders. And we're here for three, two, one. Exhale, bow forward, point your hands on the mat, take your left toes, lift your left knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, wrist one, I've all those standing hands, going to touch these, you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart. Inhale, hands go high as you exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. As you exhale, bow forward, put your hands down, step your left leg all the way back behind you. Left knee goes down. Inhale, hands go high. Hands stay higher, maybe your hands go to your lower back. Interlace them, press your knuckles down, broaden out those collarbones. For three, two, one. Exhale, bow forward, put those hands down, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step back, high plank, manasa through. Meet me in downward facing dog. And then inhale, left leg goes high. As you exhale, pull your left knee towards your nose, plant your left foot down the mat. Right knee falls. Inhale, hands go up. Hands stay higher. Maybe you bring them down to field goals. Your choice here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, hands go high. As you exhale, bow forward, plant your hands down, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Inhale, wrist one out, all of your standing hands coming to touch. As you exhale, pull your hands down to your heart. And then inhale, hands go high. As you exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, bow. One more, just like that. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, bow forward, put your hands on the mat. Step, float, hop back. Your choice. Optional vinasa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Hug your belly button up and in here in your downward facing dog. Engage your core continuously. Starfish your hands down on the mat, gauging all the way to your fingertips. And then inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the outside of the right elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose. Point your right foot down the mat. Left knee's gonna follow. And inhale, hands go high. Low classical lunge. Good, and often your hands stay higher, hands can come down to the mat to fit in your right foot, it's your choice. Because when we take a breath, as you exhale, shift your weight back, our Hanuman half splits. And then inhale, come back forward, yeah. Exhale, shift that weight back. Inhale, come forward. Go through three more. Exhale, shift that weight back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, shift that weight back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, shift that weight back. Inhale, come forward. And then exhale, shift that weight back. Hands come down to that half splits. Arahana on here. And I'll move my props out of the way. Your hands can come to rest on your books or your blocks, whatever you have at home. Okay? You can come up onto your fingertips on your books or your blocks. You can come up onto your right heel if you want. You can keep your right foot sealed down now or your hands come long out in front of you. Again, we're here for three, two, one. Begin to walk your hands up towards your body, taking breath, and as you exhale, take your hands down to the inside of your right foot. Crab crawl onto the long edge of your mat. Here, so you're in a modified tabletop or a modified gate pose. Left knees down, left foot back behind you, right legs out towards the right, and begin to lay your chest forward and down on the mat here, coming into a modified child's pose. Sinking your hips back towards your left heel. Stretching out that right leg. 
that right inner thigh, that right groin area for three, two, one. Exhale, shift back up to where we started. Walk your hands in towards your chest. And from here, we're gonna crab crawl around to the back of our mat. So point your left foot towards the front of your mat. Your hands are a little bit out in front of your left knee because we're gonna take breath in as you exhale, tuck your right toes. Hug that left knee up and towards your chest for three, two, one. Inhale, reach your left leg all the way towards the sky as you exhale, stack your hips here. Bend your left knee, open hip, three-legged dog, taking circles of whatever joint you need to here. Ankle, hip, knee, thigh, your practice. So we go to inhale, straighten out that left leg as you exhale, pull your left knee towards your nose. Inhale, take it up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee in towards your left elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the outside of your left elbow. Inhale to the sky. And as you exhale, pull that left knee into the outside of your left elbow and hold for five, four, you got this, three, two, one. Exhale, step that left foot down the mat. Let's bring our right knee down the mat. Lizard pose here. And you can stay nice and proud if you want. Your elbows can come down into the mat. But it is early in practice, so come into your variation of lizard that you need to come into. Maybe you fall out into the pinky toe edge of your left foot here. Maybe keep your left foot sealed down on the mat. Totally your choice. Maybe you stay up in that nice proud lizard. Remember her for five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, make your way back to your nice proud, proud lizard. Because what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna begin to shift our weight back, coming into a lizard split. So you're just lengthening out this left leg. Bring both hands to frame your left foot here and your left leg. You can stay nice and proud. Or you can begin to walk your hands out in front of you, coming in to that half split shape when your forehead comes down to touch your kneecap. For five, four, feeling that deep stretch here in your left hamstring. Three, two, one. Inhale, walk your hands back up towards your body. As you exhale, bring both hands down into the inside of your left knee. Rebend your left knee, lizard pose. And stay here or plant your right hand down. Bend your right knee. Take your left hand back for your right foot. I'm reaching for the pinky toe edge, but you can reach for your big toe edge. You can reach wherever you want. You can reach for the tops of your right toes here. But just coming in to our twisted monkey here. Pull this left knee in. For five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, re-bend this left knee. Let's plan our left or right knee. Plant our left hand down. Tuck our right toes, lift our right knee. Take breath as you exhale. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Malasana, low yogi squat. Both heels point in, both sets of toes point out. Good. And maybe you sway side to side here in your Malasana. Maybe you settle into stillness. We will be here one more time. So if you are ready for a crow, go ahead and pop it. But if you just want to hang out here in your Malasana, you're more than welcome to. I will definitely encourage crow the second time we're here because we're, this is an arm balance class. So we should warm up our body and get our body ready for some arm balances with an arm balance right before we just hit a hurdler's pose. And we're here for four, three, two, one. Exhale, put your hands down on the mat. Step, step back, high plank. Optional Vanasa, meet me in downward facing dog. And then go ahead and inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, pull your left knee towards your nose. And inhale, take it up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the outside of the left elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, pull left knee in towards your nose. Plant left foot down on the mat. Right knee's gonna follow. Low classical lunge. And go ahead. Hands stay down on the mat. Or maybe hands go down. Or hands stay down or hands go high, excuse me. Because we're taking breath as you exhale, shift your weight back. Half splits. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, shift that weight back. Inhale, come forward. Three more. Shifting it back. Before you come back to the center and where we started. Shift the weight back. Come forward. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, come forward. And then exhale, take it back. Bring your hands onto the mat if you're lifted. Coming into your version and your shape for your half splits here. Simply breathing, breathing into this left glute, breathing into this left hamstring. You actually have three hamstrings. That's why it's called your hamstrings group. Remember, three, two, one. Exhale, begin to walk your hands up towards your body. Let's take both hands in the inside of your left leg and pivot around towards that long edge of your mat, back into our modified gait, our modified tabletop. But this time, our left leg is out and our right knee and right foot's down the mat. Take your hands out directly underneath your shoulders and then sink your hips back towards your heel. 
Modified child's pose. Take a big breath in as you exhale. Shift back forward here to your modified tabletop. Crab crawl around to the top of your mat. Right knee is down. Right foot shooting to the back of your mat. Left toes are tight. So let's take a breath in as you exhale. Lift your left knee. Hug that right knee up and toward your chest. For three, two, one. Inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, pull your right knee towards your nose. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the outside of the right elbow. And hold for five. You got this. Four, three, Two, one, exhale, plant your right foot down the mat. Left knee's gonna follow. Lizard pose here on the right. Maybe you stay nice and proud. Maybe your elbows go down the mat. Maybe you grab a sip of water if you want. Just settle here into your hip opener. For five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, come out of your Flow lizard, come back into your nice proud lizard. Because we're taking breath as you exhale, shift that weight back. Take both hands to frame that right foot. Lizard splits here. Maybe your right toes pop up off the mat here. Maybe your right foot seals stay sealed down onto that earth. Show your choice. Taking your forehead into your kneecap here. Feeling that deep stretch in that right hamstring. So you have, like I said, you have three of them. Totally blanking on the names, but you have a lateral, lateral one, a medial one, and then one that's called the biceps. And it's called the biceps because it has two heads where it connects at the base here of your thigh down next to your knee. And we're over three, two, one. Inhale, rebend into this right knee. Play both hands down the inside of your right foot. Let's take our left hand down, reach our right hand up to the sky, bend our left knee if you want, and come into your twisted monkey here. Bring your right hand to your left foot. Maybe you gaze up towards the sky over your right shoulder. Maybe you can stay gazing down towards the mat. Maybe we begin to sink this left thigh down towards the earth for a deeper stretch. For five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Slowly release without fleeing. Bring your right hand down to the mat. Tuck your left toes. Take your Lift your left knee, take a breath as you exhale. Step your left foot up towards the top of your mat. My last now, you guessed it. Heels point in, toes point out. Drop your hips nice and low. Good, grow the crown of your head up towards that side. Three. Then again, you have the option to stay here. You have the option to come towards your crow pose. Planting your hands down, rising up onto your tippy toes. Wiggle, walk your feet directly behind your wrists here. Bend your elbows a lot. Begin to lean forward. Maybe your toes stay down, or maybe they lift up. And if you're having trouble getting your toes lifting, maybe you place them on a block or a book, or maybe you start here kind of back, not totally on your elbows, and you begin to rock forward, taking your nose out past your hands. And as you rock forward, you roll onto your tippy toes, and as you rock a little bit forward, a little more forward, or a little further forward, you begin to lift away from the mat. And we're here for a four, and either my last one or crow, three, two, one, exhale, step or float back, optional vinyasa, downward facing dog. And let's take four breaths for ourselves here in our down dog. You can take time in your down dog. You can take time in your dolphin. Or your elbows and knees can come down to that mat and you come into child's pose. Your choice. Three more breaths here. Reconnecting to your intention, reconnecting to your breath, slowing down your heart rate. Two more. Last one. As you're ready, on your exhale, maybe back in your downward facing dog. Good. And from here, let's inhale, lift our right leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, stack your hips, bend your right knee. Stay here or flip your dog, planting your right foot down that, driving both heels down to the earth to lift your hips high. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one, if you flip, come back around. Inhale, we'll all lift your right leg up towards the sky as you exhale. Pull your right knee towards your nose. Kick your right foot out towards the left. Long edge of your mat. Lower your hips down towards the mat. IT band stretch here. Yes. And we're here for four, three, two, 
You want to inhale, lift your hips up, shoot that left leg, or right leg, excuse me, all the way towards the sky, taking a big breath as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards the outside of your right elbow, lower your arms down to chaturanga arms, okay? Right knee is resting on your right elbow, left toes are resting on the mat, stay here or lift your left toes up off the earth, and we'll have another chance to try this pose, hurdler's pose. So we're here for three, two, one, inhale, shoot that right leg all the way up towards the sky, take a big breath in as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose, plant your right foot down the mat, low runners lunge. Left hip pulling back, right hip pulling forward here. Good, let's take a breath and as you exhale, straight out your right leg. Big pyramid, and inhale, re-bend. Exhale, straighten and lengthen. Inhale, re-bend. Exhale, straighten and lengthen. Inhale, re-bend. Two more. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend. And then exhale, rise up, high lunge. Right hip pulling back, left hip pulling forward here. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Your hands can say hi. They can go down to the elbows. You can take them to your lower back and interlace them, pressing your knuckles down towards that mat. Good. And just breathe. For three, two, one. Let's all bring our hands to our heart. Take a big breath in as you exhale. Think of the hinge forward, rising up onto your left tippy toes into your left foot, raises up off that mat. Warrior three. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, step, 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 all the way back with this left foot. Pivot your left foot between 45 degrees and 90. Pull yourself up and open. Warrior two here. Hips and shoulders are stacking one on top of the other. Right knee stacking directly above your right ankle as you gaze out and over towards your front hand. Hugging that belly button up and in. I can't emphasize that enough. And we're here for three, two, one. Exhale, lengthen out that right leg. And inhale, we bend. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend. Lengthen. Bend it. Two more. Lengthen. Bend it. Last one. Lengthen. Bend. And then inhale. Lengthen. And as you exhale, hinge forward and down. Coming into Trigonasana. Triangle pose. Left shoulder and right shoulder are stacking. You're pretending, pretending like you're in between two planes of glass here. Gazing down towards your right foot or up towards the sky. Right hand can rest on the mat. Your foot, a block. You can rest on the outside of your right foot if you want. If your hand is touching the mat, it intensifies the stretch here in your right hamstring. Slowing down our heart. For three, two, one. Exhale, windmill your left hand down to the mat. Take your right hand into the inside of your right foot and crab crawl around to the long edge of your mat. Stay here for a second, nice proud spine here. Halfway lift, lengthen our wide-legged forward fold as you exhale, hinge forward and down. Wide-legged forward fold. One, or both, or one hand, and then the other hand walking out for your grip. Maybe reach for your big toes. Maybe go for the outside edges, the pinky toe edge of your foot here. Pressing your feet down to the mat as you grow your bottom up towards that sky. For three, two, one. Exhale, take your hands back to wriggling with your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. And as you exhale, crab crawl around to the back of your mat. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, step all the way to the back of your mat, high plank. Take one more inhale, and exhale, lower down, low plank. Inhale, up, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, push your hips back towards that sky. Anamuka, down facing dog. And then inhale, right leg goes high. And as you exhale, pull your right knee towards your nose. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow. Inhale up. And then exhale, pull your right knee to the outside of your right elbow, bending your right, or both elbows as you come in, landing here. Left side body resting on your left elbow. Right knee resting here on your right elbow. Stay here, or lift those left toes up off the mat. And bam, you're in hurdler's pose. Lip gazing in front of you for three, two, one. Go ahead, shoot that right leg all the way towards the sky. Take a big breath in as you exhale, pull your right knee in towards your nose, put your right foot down the mat. Low runner's lunge. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, lift your left leg all the way up towards the sky. Standing splits. One of both hands comes to your right ankle to play with balance. And if your standing splits looks like mine, so it's not that perfect standing splits today. It's kind of funky. And it looks like you have tight hips and hamstrings, which I do. <laughs> Don't let that discourage you from ever being able to do hurdler's pose, elephant trunks pose, or even a full split. Okay? We're here for three. Two, one, exhale, step, 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 this left leg all the way back behind you. Let's bring this left knee down to the mat. Take a breath in as you exhale, shift your right back, half splits, art of Hanuman. And you can stay here, or if 
you want, you can bring yourself to sit back on your left heel. That's option one. Or option two, excuse me, option one would be half split. And option two is to make your way towards your full splits, okay? And what I like to do for my full splits is I like to wiggle, 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 walk my right foot out in front of me here, and then slide my left knee back, and then walk this right leg out again, and slide this left hip back. And bam, I'm in my, my expression of full splits, which is not perfect by any stretch of the means or imagination. Also, my hamstrings are tighter than normal today, so it'd be really nice to have a block or a book. Hey, bookshelf, block or a book underneath this right hip, okay? And this is why I say don't be afraid and don't let your funky looking half split, standing half splits discourage you from the full variation of the splits or hurler's pose when you kick out that right leg all the way or the left leg. Because even though I have tight hips and hamstrings, here we go. We're here for three, two, one, as you exhale, begin to make your way out of your variation of splits. Let's sink back down to our low classical lunge. Take a big breath, and as you exhale, tuck your left toes. Pick up your right foot, suck that right knee in towards your nose, swooping it up. Draw in your sauce, and the cheetah's pose for three, two, one. And then exhale, swing that right ankle out and over towards your left wrist. Bring your right chin down the mat. And here we are, pigeon pose. You can stay up here nice and proud, or you can begin to walk your elbows down onto the mat. Okay. Remind you your nice restorative version of pigeon, making sure before you drop down any further that both hips are squaring forward and that this right sit bone and this right glute is still resting on the mat. And when it comes to half splits, full splits, hurdler's pose, kicking out it, you name it, give any pot more advanced posture in your loop. Give yourself time, give your body time. I can't stress that enough. Um, Kicking out hurler's pose is fun, um, but it is challenging. Can't tell you how long that took me to learn it. However, I can tell you that this full split happened this year, so 2020, and I've been practicing yoga probably since 2015, 2016? No, 2014, 2015. So it's taken me at least five years to get into that variation, to get into that full splits variation. Just give your body time. Don't get frustrated. Every day you find a new inch, a new centimeter in my case of openness. Probably a half centimeter, not even that. Probably like an eighth of a centimeter openness every day. And every day it progresses and progresses. Take two more breaths here in your half, you're in your pigeon. As you exhale, we're gonna take this left, we're gonna come back towards our proud pigeon first, and then we're gonna take this left leg and swoop it out in front of us. So we're coming here to sit on both sips bones. We're gonna take this right leg and we're gonna shoot it out in front of us as well. Good. Give your legs a wiggle, give your legs a roll once you get there. Good. And from here, let's take our left leg out to like a 45, a little bit, maybe 45. Let's take this right leg out towards a baby 45 as well. And we're gonna do leg lifts here isolating specifically this right quad and this right glute, which is gonna help so, so much when it comes to elephant trunk pose, trust me. So, let's do it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, lift up this right leg, bring it over towards midline, and as you exhale, we're gonna tap it down on midline, on the mat, and then inhale, we're gonna lift it back up, and as you exhale, bring it over towards the right, and touch it down where you started, okay? Inhale, lift up, bring it down. Exhale, bring it down, sorry. Inhale, lift all the way up, and as you exhale, bring it down to the right. Inhale, bring it all the way up towards midline, and as you exhale, touch it down on the mat. And inhale, lift it up, up, exhale, touch it back down where you started. Let's do that three more times. So coming in and then going back out counts as one. Okay, in case you were wondering. Going nice and slow with control, activating this right glute. Good, and then when you're done with your three, take your left leg and right leg back and towards midline. Come to sit on your sit bones, lift this left leg all the way up off the mat. So you're like in a modified half bow. Cool. We're not standing here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take breath as you exhale, lift up this right leg, and then lower back down to the mat. Let's pause. Take a second, hug your belly button up and in, activate your pelvic floor. Now try it again. Take a breath as you exhale, lift up. Inhale, take it back down. Keep your back nice and straight here, adding on. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, coming down. Lift up. 
come down. If you want to scoot back a little bit like you're in a boat, you can. But again, don't jump into this lower back. Let's do three more of those lifts. Lifting and lowering. Lifting, lower. Lift, lower. Last one. Lift, lower. And then inhale, lift up and let's hang out on our boat. Legs straight or bend your knees in. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, cross your heels. Come into your tabletop. Wiggle your hands, palms with distance towards. Tuck your toes, lift your knees. High plank, actual Vanessa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Good. Now here comes the fun part. Doing all of that on the left. And seeing if I can remember everything we did on the left. <laughs> Inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, pull your left knee in toward your nose. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale up towards the sky. As you exhale, take your left knee, pull it in towards your nose, kick it out all the way over towards the left, lower your hips down towards the mat. Good, IT band stretch. Now I do recognize this might be a little bit early, but that's okay. And we're here for three, two, one. Inhale, lift up your hips. As you exhale, take your left leg all the way up towards the sky, and then inhale, pull your left knee in towards your left elbow. Lower your elbows down, chaturanga arms. Balancing here and stay here or lift your right toes up off the mat or maybe take baby hops here like I am. Two, you want to exhale all the way back up towards the sky. Stack your hips, bend your right knee. Open hip, three-legged dog. Good, stay here or flip your dog, your choice. Driving your toes down to lift your hips all the way up towards the sky. For five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, come all the way back around. Inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your nose, point your left foot down the mat. Low runner's lunge here. Left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Take an inhale and as you exhale, lengthen out your left leg. Big pyramid, inhale, come down. Exhale, lengthen, inhale, bend. Lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend. Go ahead, lengthen, bend it. And then inhale and as you exhale, rise all the way up, high lunge. Going a little bit slower there like I did if you wanted to. I felt myself wobbling on this backwards. I was like, oh no, do I go slow or do I go fast and I fall? So I elected not to fall. And let's go high. And again, you can do with whatever you want with your hands here. They can say hi. They can go come, to, come down to cactuses or your hands can come to your lower back and you can interlace them there. But I'm sorry, I got hung up on my words though. There, I'm turd. <laughs> it was one of those long days. I'm here for three, two, one. One. Exhale, let's all bring our hands down to our heart space. Take a big breath and as you exhale, begin to shift more and more weight forward, lifting your right leg up off the mat here. Warrior three, coming into that capital letter T shape. Right hip squares down for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, step, step, step this right leg all the way back behind you. Seal your right foot down on the mat between 45 degrees and 90. Come up, warrior two here. Good, shoulders stacking directly above your hips. Again, I can't stress that enough. Not reaching too far forward out into the present or too far for or the future. No, that's the future, forward to future. All the way back in the past, but settling right here, right now in the present. Shoulders stacking directly above your hips, sealing your pinky toe edge of your right foot down to the mat. Good. For three, two, one. Take a big breath as you exhale, lengthen out this left leg and inhale, we bend. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend. Lengthen, bend. Lengthen. Bend. Let's do that two more times. Lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend. And then inhale, lengthen as you exhale, hinge forward and down. Trigonasana, triangles pose here. Good. Stacking your hips and shoulders one on top of the other, pretending like you're in between two planes of glass, two fence posts. Maybe you will walk your right, in, your right foot in a little bit to shorten your stance if you feel like you're slipping and your stance is too long. That's perfectly okay. Gazing up towards that right thumb. For three, two, one. Exhale, windmill that right hand down the mat. Walk your left hand on the inside of your left foot. Crab crawl over towards a nice and proud wide-legged forward fold. Take a big breath as you exhale, hinge forward and down. Meet me in your wide-legged forward fold, whatever that may look like for you here today. Not for, here for as long, for, only for three, two, one, exhale, crab crawl all the way up to the top of your mat. Take a big breath in as you exhale, step back, high plank, optional vanessa. Meet me in downward facing dog. Good, now you know the drill. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, pull your left knee to the outside of your left elbow. Lower your elbows down to 90 degrees. Bring your left knee to rest here and lift that right leg up off the ground. Gazing out in front of you actively. 
You got this. Heart lowers pose. Maybe you'll extend that left leg out by pressing into your left heel and your left toes. Point those for three, two, one. Exhale. Come all the way back up towards the sky. Taking a big breath in. As you exhale, pull your left knee in towards your toes. Plant your left foot down on the mat. Low backwards lunge. Inhale and exhale. Shoot that right leg all the way up towards the sky. Standing splits. Good. Just getting a little bit more hamstring opening here. Could be considered passive. Could be considered active. Your choice. For three, two, one. Exhale. Step, step, step. That right leg all the way back behind you. Right knee comes down the mat. Low classical lunge. Same three options as last time. So maybe you shift your way back to Ardha Hanuman. Maybe you come to sit here on your right heel. If you have tight hamstrings, if you're a runner, if you're a lifter, if you're a rower, a biker of any sort, this right here probably feels the most, one, uh, probably feels like one of the most uncomfortable things you could ever do. But your quads and your hamstrings will thank you later. It feels so good, okay? Or, just like last time, you can begin to make your way in towards your full splits. So, like I said, I like the wiggle walk variation. So another way to get into that wiggle walk variation without having to bend this left knee is just keep your left leg straight. Walk your left toes out. Walk them out, walk them out, walk them out. Sliding your left heel on the mat. And then you wiggle that right leg back a little bit. I just press into my hands to lift my hips up a little bit more so I can get a little bit more clearance. That is my foot on my mat, I promise. And then with time, your legs are just nice and straight, okay? And that's how I get into it. That's how I get around my tight hamstrings. That's what works for my anatomy here with tight hips, with a bad left knee. This is what works for my body. This may not be what works for your body. So I encourage you to play with half, transitioning from half to full splits. If that's something you want and that's something you don't want, then forget about it, okay? Like I said, this is what works for my body. I had ACL reconstruction when I was 16. My left leg since has been kind of, has always been tighter. And my left hip has always, or not always, but a lot of time guards my left knee. So it's always a lot tighter. I also have some hip things from too many falls onto a hard wooden basketball court. <laughs> so just breathe here. For three, two, one. As you exhale, begin to make your way back towards your low classical lunge, re-bending into this left knee. Let's tuck our right toes, lift our right knee, take a big breath. As you exhale, snuggle that left knee in towards your nose, holding for three, two, one. And then swing this left foot out and over towards your right wrist. Lower your body down to the mat, coming into your nice, proud pigeon. And again, take time here, set up the pose. Pull your left hand, or take your left hand to your left hip. Pull it back or take your right foot, your right hand to your left foot and snuggle your hips back a little bit more. So that way hips are squaring forward. Left hip is sealed down to this mat as you begin to go deeper if you want. And just simply breathe. Returning to your intention, returning to your breath here. For four, three, two, one. Go ahead, put your hands on the mat. Slowly walk all the way up. Good. And let's take this right leg, swing it out in front of us. Shoot and shoot that left leg out in front of us as well. Good. Give your legs a wiggle. Give your legs a roll. And from here, let's move our blocks about halfway down the middle of our mat here. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right leg, take it out to 45. I'm gonna move my water cup so I don't kick that. We're gonna take our left leg out to 45 as well. Good, and just like we did last time, we're gonna do those leg lifts, okay? And for this round of leg lifts, just focus on getting the leg up, okay? Don't focus on how high it goes, okay? Just focus on getting the leg up, lifting it up, touching it down, and bringing it back up, okay? So go ahead, inhale, lift that left leg up, and as you exhale, place it down midline. Inhale, lift it up, and as you exhale, place it back out to the left. Lift up, place it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Engaging your pelvic floor here. 
Let's do three more. Also engaging your navel to spine lock, that on right there. And if you're like, what is a bondage? Sanskrit word for lock. We have our chin to throat banda, our jaw, I'm gonna botch the Sanskrit, our navel to spine banda, and then we have our pelvic floor banda, our pelvic floor lock. And when you're done, go ahead, take this left leg into midline. I think I did a little bit more than three while I was talking. <laughs> and again, let's do our locks here. So, hug your spine going up towards the sky. Hug your pelvic floor in first. Hug your belly bone up and in. Engage your core. Then let's lift this right leg up. And take a breath as you exhale. Lift your left leg up and lower it. Lift, lower it. Pause. Recheck in with your locks. Lift, lower it. Two more. Lift, lower Lift, lower Last one. Lift, lower And then inhale. Lift up this left leg and come into your boat pose. Holding here for five. Maybe straighten out your legs. Four. Three, two, one. Exhale, bring the soles of your feet down to the mat. Okay? Spada Kanasa. And what we're gonna do from here, and I'm gonna turn to face the long as your mat. You can stay facing forward or face the long as your mat. It's your choice. We're gonna come into a seated wide legged forward fold. So you take this left leg all the way out towards a 45. Lay maybe a little bit further, and then do the same thing with your right leg. Okay, coming into our seated wide legged forward fold shape. I'm gonna remove my extra handy dandy book here. Grab your blocks, grab your books, whatever you have. Place them down on the mat, okay? Or down on the floor in front of you. And this is going to be the clear and tight that we're trying to clear, okay? And we're gonna do five on each side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this right leg up, place it down, put it back where it started, and then go to the left side, do the same thing, and then go back to the right, okay? And we're gonna do five on each side. So basically we're gonna do those leg lifts, but we're gonna do what? We're gonna do like tapping your head, and rubbing your belly at the same time, making our brain work kind of both sides of our body, okay? So let's start with the right. Inhale, lift it up, and as you exhale, touch it down. Inhale, lift up, and as you exhale, come down. Left side, inhale, lift up, and as you exhale, lower down towards midline or as close to midline as you can get. Inhale, lift up, and as you exhale, back out. That's one for each. Four more, let's go. Lift this right leg up, touch down, take it out, place it down. Lift this left leg up, touch it down, lift it up, back to the left. Lift right, take it down, take it up, to the right, lift left, midline, lift left, to the outside, lift right, midline, lift right, to the back out, or back out to the right, lift left up, touch down midline, take it up, lift to the left, lift right up, take it back, lift left up, take it back to where you started, the last one, lift right up, take it down, take it back, lift left up, take it down, take it back, good, from here, move those blocks down next to your sides, you might want them in a second or two, from here, pull your left leg in, Take your right foot, take your right hand to your right foot and begin to kick out and roll out this right leg here, okay? Just coming into this rolling of the boat motion. And then as you're ready, so and is actively pulling this right knee back behind you. Warming up our hips and our hamstrings here for elephant trunk pose. We're gonna do one more stretch and then we're gonna come into elephant trunk pose, okay? So go ahead, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, bring your left hand to the pinky toe edge of your left foot, bringing your left calf out in front of you, okay? I'll turn this way, because why not? Or right calf. <laughs> what, Rachel? Right calf. And from here, we're gonna take this right arm around our right calf, right hand coming to rest on your right ankle or right shin, and we're gonna take our right foot down a little bit and place our right foot in our left elbow crease, and a little bit higher up into our right tri or left tricep helping it up like I just did and come into rocking the baby okay spreading this right hip side to side I'm gonna turn back this way okay and I know I'm doing a lot of rotating you can stay facing whatever direction you want just rotating so you can see different angles you know and as you're ready sell into stilts actively hugging your leg into your body and like I said your blocks can be down next to your hips here to bring the mat a little bit closer to you, or you don't have to use them, it's totally your choice, okay? And so I'm gonna to begin to demo elephant trunk pose, because as always, we've quickly ran out of time in class. <laughs> I'm so bad at timekeeping. Anyways, what we're gonna do here is take this left leg, extend it out, and you can stay here and watch, or you can come along as I go. Take your left hand, pinky toe edge of right foot, take right hand to the back of your right calf. Now what you're gonna do is heave this up and place your right calf over your right shoulder. Now, when you take this right hand away from your right calf, you can place it down on the mat or on the block, this right shoulder might fall, or right knee might fall down a little bit off your right shoulder. 
that is okay. You got a slippery surface with your leggings or maybe your sweaty legs, okay, on a slippery surface of, that is either your tank top, your t-shirt, or your shoulder, okay. So it's okay if this falls down a little bit. And what you're going to do is I'm going to use blocks for this side because why not? Is take your hands down to the mat, flat or mat. And from here you have two ways. So both hands are down the mat at this point. And what you can do is you can press your hands down the mat and lift your butt up. Stay here, and then lift this left leg up when you're ready. So that leg lifting action that we've been practicing, right? So that's one way to come up into the pose. Or the second option is to lift everything up at once. So to do that, what I like to do is hug my belly button up and in, engage my pelvic floor, engage my stomach lock. I'm gonna take a breath in, and as I exhale, I'm gonna just lift. And I press down and lift up my bottom in the same action here. And it's a really powerful press down so I can gain a little bit of momentum. You can hang out here for as long as you want coming down when you want. And to come down, you're just like, okay, brain, come on arms, unactivate, let's go down, okay? It's very, basically your body knows how to come out of the pose. Your body knows how to come back to the ground, come back to the earth where it's comfortable. Sometimes it doesn't really know how to lift up off the mat. So that's not the hard part, is the coming out of the pose. The hard part is always coming up into the pose, right? And stretching your wings and flying. You wanna get really metaphorical there. So play here with elephant trunk if you want, or maybe you just hang out here and rock the baby. And for the left side, I'm not gonna break down and cue everything as slowly as I just did. We'll go through it a little bit faster, so that way we have more time to close out class. Because like I said, we have quickly made our way through the end of class. So what I will end up doing is probably diamond pose to Supta Baddha Konasana, to Shavasana. And I tell you that, so that way if something else sounds better, you can do that and you can make your practice your own, okay? If you're playing with elephant trunk pose, you have five more seconds, and then we're gonna head to the left side. And if you're done with rocking your baby, go ahead and take your legs out in front of you, wiggle them out, okay? Again, from here, let's head to the left side. So let's take our right foot, pull our left foot, or our right foot in towards our buttocks here. Let's take our left foot, pick it up, take our left hand to this left pinky toe and begin to row out this left leg. Going in those big circles. This gets some hamstring opening going. It also gets some hip opening going. And as you sit on still, let's actively pull this left leg back behind you here. Then I'll pivot around towards this way. Okay. Then you're gonna take a big breath and as you exhale, bring your right hand to the left pinky toe edge of your foot. Pull your left calf parallel with your body. And let's start first by just replacing our left hand with our right hand here, or our right hand with our left hand. Wow. So your left hand's right now grabbing the left pinky toe edge of your foot. I am so sorry. Lefts and rights are just, you know, today. And we're gonna take, place our left foot in our right tricep. Swing this right forearm around our left calf, and then swoop this left calf, this left arm around our left calf. So two different ways to get in to rocking the baby here. See which one works best for your body. And just like last time, rock your baby for ever, however long you wish before you settle into that stillness, actively hugging your left calf into your body. Now, I'm going to demo this side without any blocks, so that way you can see what that would look like. And what we're going to do from here is take my left hand to the left pinky toe of my mat, Replace my or my foot, replace my right hand with my left hand, take my left hand to my left calf, hike it up, and take this left shoulder up and over. My left knee up and over my left shoulder. My goodness, I should have drank more coffee before class. Anyways, so restarting, because I can. Right hand, left pinky toe, left hand, left calf. Hoof it up, place left calf over your left shoulder, left knee resting behind your left shoulder. Take left hand down to the mat, okay? Left elbow is bent at 90 degrees. Take right hand down to the mat, directly next to your right hip. Walk your left hand in a little bit closer towards your left hip, and let's take this right leg and shoot it out. Just like on the other side, two options. So first option, I'm gonna press down my hands, lift my bottom up, take a breath in, and then activate this right leg. See that baby bend I did? That helps me activate this right leg, okay? Coming down when I'm ready. I'm gonna readjust here. Taking the left hand back to my left calf, hiking it up. Good. And if you're already playing, or you're ready to play, because you're like, oh, I know what I'm doing, go for it. If you're like, I wanna watch again, we'll just keep on watching. Because we take a breath in, and as you exhale, press your hands down to the mat, lifting your bottom up at the same time. So it's like a big sucking in action when you do that, okay? 
and either pointing or flexing your toes will help you keep your legs engaged all the way. And now I don't really know what my shoulders are doing there because I couldn't see myself, but to me it felt like my shoulders were already up, all the way up to next to my ears and I was kind of scrunching because of the way I was pressing down and that's okay. Um, with time, you begin to get more comfortable in the pose and you begin to unlearn that habit, okay? Also, this was my left side, so it was a little different than my right side, okay? You continue to play here for another 30-ish seconds. Yeah, let's go with 30 seconds. So that way we can bring down plats. Like I said, we'll do diamond to Supta Baddha to Shavasana. So that way we can get some hip opening because we've done a lot of hamstring opening, right? We've done a lot of hip opening. And that diamond shape and that body canasana shape will help us get our hips and our hamstrings a little bit more and just give them a diff different, more passive type of stretch. Okay. So when you're ready, you got 10 more seconds if you still want to play. Let's take our legs out in front of us. Give them a wiggle. Give them a roll. Also, if you did something off of your mat, like I did, I lifted yesterday, so my shoulders are really tight today, that might impact, go ahead, bring the soles of your feet together, coming into diamond shape with our legs, how it might impact your elephant trunk pose and how high your shoulders go, okay? So for what we're gonna do for diamond is you're gonna come into a kind of an extended recline bound angle, or bound angle pose, and then scoot your hips back a little bit more so you come into a nice diamond shape with your legs. We're gonna take a big breath in as you exhale, hinge forward. Bringing your forehead down towards the mat, maybe rest on the mat or a block, probably a block. Maybe rest on your feet, your choice. Four more big deep breaths here. Two breaths left. And on your second exhale, slowly keeping the soles of your feet together, just rise up, place your hands back behind you, scoot your bottom in a little bit closer towards your heels, and begin to lay back on your mat here. Coming into your Supta Baddha Konasana, your recline bound angle pose. Closing your eyes, one hand coming to rest on your belly, the other hand coming to rest on your heart here. Settling down into your, not settling down into your final pose, Shavasana, but coming closer and closer towards your final pose of rest with each breath. But as you lay here, before you begin to let your thoughts drift away, take a second. Thank yourself for everything you've been able to do today, both on and off of your mat. And for taking time out of your day for yourself and to move. And offer yourself gratitude for everything you were able to do today throughout the course of your practice. Applaud yourself for listening to your body. Offer yourself gratitude. And I invite you to think of one thing that you've done in the past week, the past month, today, this past year, however you want to, wherever in time you want it to go. Think of one thing that you've done that you are super, super proud of. And just keep that in mind the rest of the day, the rest of your month, the rest of the week. And as you inhale and seal that sense of pride and accomplishment and happiness. And as you exhale, release any sense of self-doubt. And then as you're ready, begin to make your way into your final pose of rest, your final pose of Shavasana, choosing to stay in your Supta Baddha Konasana for your final Shavasana if you wish. Beginning to melt down on your mat here as your thoughts begin to drift away like clouds in the sky. Breath becoming nice and natural and easy. And this is where I leave you. Please stay here in your final pose of rest for your, as long as you want or need to. Taking time to slowly recall movement back into your body when you're ready. But as always, it was an honor to teach. It was an honor to practice alongside you. I hope you enjoyed class and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.